Hello there and welcome back. This is Europa Universalis 4. I'm playing as Korea. Now uh, we are into the 19th century now. Not long left in the game. I have annexed Korchin and incorporated them to my realm. Got another idea. Sind want their royal marriage back on? Sure. Regimental system. By organizing our armies into regiments tied to distinct geographical areas, we can allow the army to put down roots into the community. Thus, when we come to raise more battalions for our regiments, they will be able to be recruited faster. So land maintenance modifier is decreased by 5%. Now, I can build some more troops. I can probably build four more artilleries per army. So I might as well do that. I want to keep my armies in tip-top shape. Just in case war does break out. I don't increase my navy on get five more. Not really worth it. Institution. That can't be far away, that last one. 9.7%. So I really just need one more province to tick over. Ood is at 99.1%. Looks like that'll take another year or so. Hmm. Might as well save the rest of my money until that kicks in. So I can embrace it straight away. Beijing. Hmm. What if I claim Beijing to be mine? Got a new tech ready. Admin tech 29. The midshipman cadets. Originally, the midshipman was a rank given to an experienced seaman who worked amidships. Men who aspire to become officers would often choose to serve in this role. If we formalize this and make it a precondition for acquiring the rank of a commissioned officer, this will, we will ensure our future leaders understand the ships they command. Okay, that's another general, it's okay. He's almost gone. I'm glad I got rid of them as an ally. Is it topped up again? If I was to go to war with me again, I don't know if I'd do the Merc thing. I don't know, maybe I would. Considering that the Timur has paid off my debts. I could try a similar stunt. The Ottomans are 16,000 ducats in debt. The Timurids are now. Should I return the favour and pay off theirs? Nope, I need to save up. Alright, there's my goal. 
6,000 ducats. I don't think you're going to get there. Where's my money going? A lot of it's going to forts. Obviously, most is going to the army. But I can't really afford to lower maintenance with Ming right on my doorstep. I guess I could lower it a little bit. Just move my armies away from the actual border. That might be an option. Obviously, I was to attack Ming. I'm not going to do it without the assistance of the Ottomans. You know, Cinder are more powerful now. The Ottomans is obviously the main source of manpower because they have the biggest army in the world. Russia is up there. Russia and Ming are back in the three and four spot. Humans have dropped away a little bit. So I definitely need the Ottomans on board if I was to do such a thing. I'm kind of regretting now not going for some colonialism. All this Siberian land here could have been mine. Now to think about it, how did Ming get into there that Hmm. I don't know, but in hindsight, I should have taken that land for myself. But these things happen. Relations are improved. We have found common grounds with one of our neighbours in the fact that we share the same faith. Our relations have improved, and this can only be good for the future. Hmm. It's still minus 200. Bit of a support issue with my arm is getting too big. So I just split them in half to reduce manpower loss. Demands representation. A number of hostile publications have begun to circulate in the cities of Korea. Anonymous yet very critical authors claim that our government is autocratic and demand both a written constitution and a parliament where the various parts of our country can be represented. I'll make vague promises of reform. It looks like all the money in Gidden is being transferred out. It's pretty cool. More goes to Nippon, where I obviously collect 92% of it. Looks alright. Move my army to Ju'ud. Another advisor. No, let's get the level 1 guy. No, it's not really the advisor that I want. No, I can start doing some conversions. Again, something to do. Administrative problems. It's becoming increasingly difficult to administer our armies. The men we have in the job are proving inept and far too venal. Venal? 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 We search for men who are just corrupt enough to be bought without being too greedy. Until this is done, our military administration will prove costly. Oh man. Increase cost and gains corruption. That's not cool. Hmm, I can adopt a couple of, or accept a few more cultures. I suppose I can do that.
Cost me five ducats a month, that corruption. That's a lot. Ottomans are in crazy debt. 16,000 ducats. I just don't get how they can do anything with that much debt. I had, what, 3,000? It's costing me 17 ducats a month in interest alone. So they got five times that. It's amazing they can support themselves. Hmm, what are the Timurids up to? They're making lots of troops. Are they planning something? Maybe they are. A new tech, Admin Tech 28, the Rotherham Plow. Hmm, before I take that. No, I'm still a bit away from paying. Alright. The basic plow in use in Europe has been unchanged since the Roman times. Now, thanks for improvements in design, the same plow. This one plowed differently twice. Can be made much lighter, reducing workload on draft animals, allowing them to do more work. So production efficiency increased by 2%. Gets worth an extra ducat a month. Administrative monarchy at the moment. You really got any need to change? Right, another culture. I'm gonna change governments for the sake of it. Things seem to be doing pretty well. Hmm, my penalty for annexing Korchen has expired. Timurids have got some internal issues they're fighting with still. Debt's just increasing, so is the Timurids. Revolt! High taxes and cultural and religious differences have caused unhappiness among our citizens. If this continues, it will drastically affect the stability of our nation. Hmm, that's a lot of unrest. No, oh, just lower taxes, why not? It's only one province. I really wish I didn't ignore Siberia. I should have expanded out there. Ignore that land, not that the land's great. Still, well, that's 10. Marital Bliss. Her Majesty the Empress Consort is of course a constant companion and good advisor in her own right. However, apart from that role, our Empress Consort is also representative of the Crown to the Key House and vice versa. At times, this is not an arrangement without benefits. 
Today, Gyeong Hyeong seems very pleased to announce that her family has decided to show its support for the, thro for the throne and for the union of Sun and John Hyeon. Hmm. I'll take one base tax, why not? Another idea is ready. Defensive mentality. There are those who think that attack is the best form of defense, but that is foolish. Let them come to us and then hit them on the counter. Our troops will defend tenaciously and our fortresses will hold out for longer. Cheaper fort maintenance and better fort defense. That's good. Saves me a few ducats a month. You're becoming a great power now. Portugal, one of the great powers of the world. It seems odd. It's so small, but I've got, got so many uh, colonies around the world. No United States yet. Oh, the Iroquois remain. How's that? The Scottish West Indies. Okay. these conversions. It's really the only thing left to do. Timurid's debt's getting bigger. Why? Why is your debt getting bigger? Is it because you're making armies to fight these separatists? Ming's trying to take more Brunei's land. I'm a bit worried though, because Ottomans have land here as well. It might drag them into a war. It might drag them into a war with Scotland too. That'd be interesting. Why 
would Malaka need military access from me? I'm sorry, but you serve no purpose. Well, I guess that would do for this episode. Again, quite uneventful. With my two main allies in massive debt, not going to help with the war anytime soon. And I can't do it by myself, I'm afraid. I'll just have to sit here a bit longer. Hopefully things come good soon. Even if I pay the Timurids out, might help. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support, and I hope to see you next time. Take care out there.